Alrighty, so your total today is $50. Will that be cash or a card? Um, I actually have a coupon for a free haircut. Oh, um, okay. Did you get it here? Um, it's just, we don't make coupons. Like, we don't put them out, so. Oh, um, gee. This is embarrassing. There's a salon where she's from that has the same name as you guys, so she must have thought that it was like a chain salon and she just sent it to me as a pick-me-up for a free haircut. Oh, that's really sweet of your grandma, but yeah, we are an independent salon. It's just pure coincidence that someone else has the same name as us. Um, do you have a different form of payment? No, I just brought this, but I can leave something as collateral and come back this week when I get paid. Don't even worry about it. It was supposed to be for a pick-me-up, so I hope that this cheers you up. Just enjoy your haircut. Well, thank you, and I did bring a tip. I hope you know I'm telling the boss you just gave a free haircut. Okay. Hey boss, you wanted to see me? Yes, hello, how are you? You know, I really wanna stop meeting like this. Me too. What was that, dear? Nothing, what did you wanna see me about? Well, it has been brought to my attention that you gave away a free service. Okay, yes, but- But nothing, I was there, remember? The girl didn't have enough money, so she told her to just enjoy the haircut. Is this true? Yes, but- her grandma gave her a coupon that she thought was for our salon. She thought it was a chain salon because the salon in her town has the same name. It was an honest mistake. There are no honest mistakes, and that was a huge product waste. This is not okay. Well, it was a dry cut. She didn't have time for a wash, so I used all of my own products. I probably just used like eight minutes of electricity to flat iron her. Sorry to interrupt that girl. You gave a free cut too, line one. Probably for more free stuff because of you. Hi. And you're sure that you want to go to the same stylist? You don't want to try someone else? Okay, if you want that done as well, that's fine, but that does bring us to an additional $175 upcharge. Is that going to be okay? Wait. All right, I'm not, I'm, I'm not gonna lie to you. With what happened last time and this being a color service, we will require a 50% deposit. So, oh, you can pay 100% of the services in person today, including the haircut that you didn't pay for? Oh, really? ma'am you have a great day we'll see you in a few hours for that deposit <clears throat> so what was that about well she loved you and she was just waiting for her new job like the check to clear so she's getting $987 worth of services done and you want me to take it is that gonna be a problem so that client actually prepaid in full huh yeah she did and she's about to come up here and reschedule if you want to run along and stop talking about her I'm sure that she is going to reschedule. You know that she didn't pay for her first haircut because of a coupon issue, and now she's probably going to reschedule and call back in a few days so that she can get all of her money back and just get more free services out of you in the salon. God, you're so naive. All right, I think that I got all my stuff. Um, I just can't get over how much I love my hair. Thank you so much. Let's get me back on your books. Yeah, no problem. It has been such a pleasure to service you. And it has been so wonderful coming to you, and it's only my second time. You know, being new to the area, I was terrified that I wasn't going to be able to find a good stylist, but you've surpassed any expectations that I had. Oh, can you get me change for a tip? Yeah, absolutely. I'll be right back. Would you mind getting me the manager? I need to talk to her. Absolutely. Why is my client talking to the boss? Oh, I don't know. She just said that she needed to talk to her about something. I told you so. Hi ma'am, I heard you wanted to talk to me about your stylist. No, but I can see that the salon has a proclivity for making false assumptions. I said I wanted to talk to you about a stylist. Oh, okay, I'm sorry, can you elaborate? Absolutely, the little green haired one over there? Yeah, hi, you. Was talking very loudly about me at the front desk because of the whole coupon incident as to whether or not I could afford these services. And if she's not the boss, why is it her business? Okay, I think there's been a miss on- Interrupt me, okay? Another thing, she might think that she's naive for taking me back as a client because of the whole coupon mishap, but I think that she can take a lesson from my stylist on empathy. Yes, I think that you are. And you know what else she said? That I'm probably going to call back in a few days to get my money back for free services. I do have half a mind to demand my money back, but I'm not going to because my stylist did a damn good job. Told me what? 